Yeah, B A I L E Y. And then O'Halloran is O apostrophe H A L L O R A N. And I imagine you're attending like a high school here in Regina? A university. Uh, university. Of social work. Yeah. Okay, sure. So tell me, you know, why you wanted to come out and strike today? I wanted to come out because if we don't do it, nobody will. And we sure as heck know that they're not going to do anything about it without pressure. So here we're just applying pressure. And what do you think of the action that, you know, what, what do you think of what policymakers are currently doing to combat climate change? I think uh, provincial-wise, they're not doing anything, but federal-wise, I think we're starting to see movements in the platforms that are coming for this next election, so let's just hope that the politicians can follow through on the promises that they've heard. And how frustrating is it for you to see, uh, you know, you're a young person, you're kind of inheriting this earth uh, from the from the policymakers, you know, uh, how frustrating is it for you to see not enough action in uh, it's super frustrating because we have to clean up the messes that were made. That's how I see it. You know, we didn't make this okay, mess, but we we're the ones that have to deal with it. And the people who did make this mess are sitting up there on their high horses, not doing anything. So we're pushing on those people on their high horses to push them off their horses so they can come to the level ground and fight with us. Fair enough. And uh, uh, what do you want to see happen here locally? You mentioned there's some action it's on the federal really scale. Uh, you yeah, see a lot of action on the you know, like global scale sometimes. What but we're here for right here, you know, starts at home. Like, what do you want to see being done in Virginia and in Saskatchewan? I want to see people who just live in their, in their houses, just reducing power, reducing their plastic use, reducing their waste. And with that, we'll be just using less waste, less energy. And then I want to see the government creating policies to make that easier, to make getting renewable energy on their homes to make our waste and recycling system uh, have, like, accept more recyclables, right? Like, I just want to see more reusing, more reducing between plastic and fossil fuels. And what are some things, you know, you are personally doing to help combat? I, I do everything in my power not to use disposable oh, items such as disposable cups, disposable straws, disposable everything. Of course, I'm human. I'm going to go get a Slurpee every once in a while. I'm only going to use that cup once, right? But I just try to avoid and I, and I just become aware of all the plastics that I'm using. And once you become aware, you almost start to feel guilty every single time that you use a plastic that you know is only going to get that used that one time. Do you think that your uh, you know your messaging is misunderstood? Like I think a lot of people when I listen to radio shows about this, they think all well, these kids are are you know coming out and they want just a complete 180 on what things they want. Everybody to stop using their cars tomorrow. Like you mentioned, you're human. You're going to use things sometimes. Do so you think that? Maybe there's a misinterpretation of how drastic an immediate change is. Uh, of course, the media is always going to take a pull on it, and they're always going to push the most exaggerated side of it. But at the same time, there's truth behind every single message. So you just always got to be careful uh, with what you're reading on the media, and you know. Like I can't, do, I can't control what all these people do, but I can control what I do. And I just hope that people take action for themselves, and then in turn they will have a positive influence on the people around them. And hopefully, in turn, when that happens collectively, we'll have an influence on the government. Cool. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? I would just like to say that uh, it's awesome, and I'm really proud of everybody that came out today. And uh, if anyone from the Saskatchewan cabinet is watching, please, please hear our voices. That's all I ask. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Let's get back over there.